dear students in the chapter of forced vibration this lecture is about an another problem on rotating unbalanced system i dr balraj singh brad from yadavendra college of engineering talwandi sabo india am presenting the lecture in the problem set number 2 the unbalanced rotor as shown in figure is pinned to a frame and supported by a spring and a damper this is a mass it is rotating unbalanced mass whose center of gravity is g at e eccentricity from c center of rotation because of this eccentricity this system is unbalanced and is subjected to centrifugal forces and vertical component of centrifugal forces makes this system vibrate in the vertical direction because its motion is guided by these vertical guides this rotating unbalanced mass system is attached to this support by a spring of stiffness k and dash part of damping coefficient c stiffness k is 180 newton per meter and damping coefficient is 15 newton second per meter the total mass of rotating unbalanced mass uh, system is 5 kg and eccentricity is 2 cm now we have to find out what are the steady state amplitudes of vibration when the rotor spins at an angular speeds of 12 radians per second and 30 radians per second respectively for this type of rotating unbalanced system the differential equation is of the type mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to m not e omega square sin omega t where mx double dot is inertia force cx dot is damping force kx is spring force and m not e omega square sin omega t is the vertical component of the centrifugal force and is the external excitation for the initial period there will be certain transient vibrations but soon they vanish and system has only steady state vibrations and we have been also asked to find out amplitudes which is a steady state amplitude means solution for particular solution only for x for particular solution this system vibrates with the time with the sin uh, sin or cosine curve simple harmonic motion with with the angular uh, frequency equal to the frequency of the external excitation only thing is amplitude of vibration so this amplitude of vibration is a function of omega omega is uh, and other parameters and we have been asked to find out a for omega 1 12 radians per second and second angular speed omega 2 of 30 radians per second now for this rotating unbalanced system we have been given stiffness k is 180 newton per meter damping coefficient c is 15 newton second per meter and unbalanced mass m not here we will take this to be equal to mass of rotating system because whole of the rotating mass is having its center of gravity g at eccentricity e from the center of rotation so m not and m both we will be taking as 5 kg eccentricity e is given to be 2 cm now we have to find out the amplitude a at omega 1 first angular speed 12 radians per second and a2 at omega 2 30 radians per second and of course we know the relation in this relation we know a by m not e by m which is a left side is a dimensionless number is equal to omega by omega n whole square in the numerator omega by omega n is the ratio of angular speed 
of the excitation force or the rotating system to the natural frequency of the spring mass system. And in the denominator is square root of 1 minus omega by omega n square and this whole term square plus another second term is 2 zeta omega by omega n and this second term is square. Next we find out the two frequency ratios omega 1 to omega n and omega 2 to omega n and amping ratio zeta for this rotating unbalanced system. Omega n natural frequency for undamped vibration system is given to as under root of k by m. We substitute the values of k to be 180 Newton per meter and mass of 5 kg as is given. So we get the natural frequency for the system is 6 radians per second. Now first angular speed is given to be 12 radians per second. So corresponding to that first frequency ratio R1 is omega 1 to natural frequency. We substitute value of omega 1 12 omega n 6 as we have calculated and we get first frequency ratio of 2. Similarly for a second angular speed of rotor of 30 radians per second we get second second angular frequency for which we have to find out amplitude to be omega 2 by omega n omega 2 30 omega n 6 we put and we get frequency ratio of 5. Critical damping coefficient we know is equal to 2 times square root of k m and we substitute value of k 180 newton per meter m 5 kg we solve cc comes to be 60 newtons second per meter. Now taking this c, c here in damping ratio relation damping ratio is c damping coefficient to critical damping of value so we substitute c to be 15 as given in the problem and cc we have calculated just now 60 zeta damping ratio is 0.25 in, in this slide we have found we have found out that we need to find out amplitude for first frequency ratio of 2 and second ratio, frequency ratio of 5 and damping ratio for the system is 0.25. Now we will take these values to solve the amplitudes in the next slide. We know the relation for amplitude of vibration is A by M naught E by M which is a dimensionless number is equal to omega by omega n whole square and in denominator square root of 1 minus omega by omega n square this whole terms square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n whole terms square. In this relation omega by omega n is termed as frequency ratio. Some In some books, textbooks it is denoted as R and is equal to omega by omega n. Substituting omega by omega n to r, the relation becomes this a upon m naught e by m dimensionless number is equal to r square by in denominator 1 minus r square and this whole terms of square plus 2 zeta r whole terms of square. Now taking this m naught e by m from denominator to here in the numerator we get a m naught e by m r square by the denominator term remains the same. Now we will make use of this relation to find out amplitude first for first frequency ratio r1 and amplitude 2 for second frequency ratio r2. Now for different frequency ratios as for the problem uh, two frequency ratios R1 omega 1 by omega n and R2 omega 2 by omega n we will determine A by using relation A is M naught E by M 
r square to denominator term 1 minus r square this term whole term square plus 2 zeta r whole square now first week frequency ratio r1 we have calculated to be 2 m0 and m are same r is 5 kg because whole of the rotor is having eccentricity e between the center of gravity and center of rotation so e is given to be 2 cm we put these values m0 to be 5 m to be 5 E we put here in meters 0 0.02 and we put R1 value here first frequency ratio similarly we put R1 in denominator and damping ratio of the system 0.25 when we solve this we get that amplitude of steady state vibration for angular speed of 12 radians per second means for lower frequency ratio of 2 is 2.53 centimeter next is for second frequency ratio higher value of 5 we substitute r value to be 5 r2 value in the numerator and denominator rest terms remain the same and steady state amplitude a2 reduces to a value of 2.07 centimeter simply at lower frequency ratio system vibrates with high amplitude higher amplitude and at higher frequency ratios system vibrates at lower amplitude now from the amplitude frequency response curve for this differential equation mx double dots plus cx dot plus kx is equal to m naught e omega square sine omega t a by m naught e by m this is dimensionless number is given by this when we plot this dimensionless number with respect to frequency ratio omega by omega n we get this plot this plot this is amplitude frequency response curve along ordinate we take a by m naught e by m dimensionless number and along abscess frequency ratio is omega by omega n here along ordinate we have taken z by b which is of use in the problems of sport motion but because these frequency response curves are same for both the problems so for the correlating that we keep it z by b here also now for first frequency ratio r1 which is 2 amplitude of steady state vibrations we have calculated is 2.53 centimeter similarly for r2 second angular frequency or frequency ratio 5 a2 is 2.07 cm. Now for A1, the left term A1, A1 by M0 E by M dimensionless number becomes 1.265. For second frequency ratio, this term becomes 1.035. Now what we observe is for our system vibrating system zeta damping ratio was 0.25 so the amplitude frequency response curve shown by this dark green line is the response which is given by the R system now at first frequency ratio or angular speed lower angular speed of 12 radians per second for the R problem. Frequency ratio is 2. We get this. And we have calculated that term A by M0 E by M is 1.265. Whereas for angular speed of 30 radians per second or angular frequency corresponding angular frequency of 5, the A by M0 E 
by m term dimensionless number is 1.035 simply at higher frequency ratio system is vibrating at lower amplitude and at lower frequency ratio system is vibrating at higher amplitude so this problem helps us in understanding the system and helps us in designing future rotating unbalanced systems that if we want to reduce the amplitude of vibration simply go to this region means increase the angular frequency by increasing omega simply the speed of rotation of the unbalanced rotor or high speed rotors vibrate less or by reducing omega n omega n reduction means use springs of lower stiffness and increase the mass of the rotor so this concept one can apply in the design of real life problems and to troubleshoot certain problems of design and with this the lecture on this pro uh, on solution of this second problem for unbalanced rotating system is complete thanks my dear students